Hi guys, uh, today I thought I'd show you how to make a, a, a really, really simple little wallet. Uh, the other thing, I'm, I'm absolutely loaded with a cold today. And yeah, I, MD knows me, knows I can't sit down for two minutes. Actually, I think I broke the record. Uh, I thought I'm going to have the day off. That lasted about an hour and I was straight in the car down to the workshop. Um, just can't sit down for five minutes. Anyway, as one waffles on. Uh, little wallet. This is a simple little wallet. And I'll just show you the measurements. I think, if I remember, yep. It's about eight inches by four inches. Yeah, so eight by four. Let me just see if I can zoom this in for you so you can see my measuring stick here. And I'll do it this way around. So again, uh, four inches. Where are we? Yeah, so that's four inches by eight inches. Let me just get this on the camera. A big block of window out the way here. And there you are, you can see it's eight inches long, yeah? Uh, then I'll get two other pieces of leather. Now they'll be the same four because they've got to fit across here. So these are going to be four inches. Oop, do here. Where are we? Here we are. Four inches. Uh, and I can't remember what I did here. I think, yeah, I did about three, just under three and a half inches this one is, yeah? So, and there's two, and there's two of them. Hang on, let me show you one, two of them, same size. Let me just zoom out. So again, eight by four, three and a half by four, two of them. Okay, let's get started. Uh, this, hopefully, Looking at this, it probably should only take me about you know, 15 minutes to make it. Uh, another one, uh, other than this waffling one that I'm going to do, and I'm going to blame the cold. Uh, cost of this, I'm looking at it, it's 8 by 8 yeah. Uh, so it's less than a foot, but let's just for talking sake uh, call it 12, uh, but 12 by 12. That allows for a lot of wastage. Uh, depending what you pay for leather, I know this stuff here costs me nothing. You know, it's it probably cost me about a pound. It was an end of line, so this wallet is going to cost me a pound. But say you have to pay for your leather, and you pay five five pounds, then it's going to cost you five pounds to make this thing, um, unless you count your glue and your thread and whatever. But yeah, I'm sure at five pound, it's all going to be in there. Anyway, uh, let me show you what I'm going to do here. You can see these two bits are going to go on here. Uh, what I want is a little bit for a credit card, so. This is this is a saddler's credit card. It's worth absolutely nothing. Uh, if you work with leather, as you know, you don't have any money. Okay, so I'm going to put this on here. I don't have measurements. Uh, it's again, uh, if you watch my videos, um, I tend to come into the workshop, do something, and then when I get two minutes, I just think, what the hell will I do next? And this is one of my what the hell will I do next things. So I'm going to do a little dot somewhere about here. Yeah. Now, uh, do you need measurements for that? Let me see if I can give you a measurement for that. I don't, as you, you know I don't do measurements. That is about an inch and a half down, yeah? And let's say on the other side, I'm gonna do about three quarters of an inch down, yeah? So, I'm gonna put a dot here, and then over here, uh, near the top up here, and can I just zoom in maybe, that might help. So, my dot here, and then up the top here, uh, here, but I don't want it against the card. I want to give room for a couple of cards. So I'm going to move that over about quarter an inch, and it's going to be about there somewhere. So dot there, dot over here, and then down the bottom here. Let me see if I can zoom, move over. So down the bottom, about the middle of the card, I'm going to do a dot against the card here. Uh, and let's call it about an inch up. Yeah, but again, remember, leave this quarter an inch sort of gap over here. You, you can make up your own measurements as, as you go along here. Um, so I'm gonna say there and there, yeah? And hopefully I can see that. There's one there, one over there, one there, and one there, yeah? Right, I got a little block of wood, and I'm gonna zoom out. Oop. Right, where my dots are, I've got a number one, uh, a really thin, uh, round point, so this is a number one. Uh, have I got a hammer for it? Yeah, I got a hammer next to me as well. Let me just check on my dots here. I got about six dots going on here, I think, so I'm going to go about there. You can see a lot of thought goes into everything I do, I just kind of do it as I go along. So 
can see it. Yeah, near enough through it. Okay, on my other piece of leather, uh, I've got my four dots here, remember? Right, I want to do it the opposite. Yeah, so, if I just spin that through, I'm going to come through this way, and I'm going to put that on there. So, just lay my two bits up. Through it goes. One. This uh, piece of wood that I'm stamping on, I've just done a kitchen up on a house, uh, and this is, um, it's not my normal job. Uh, sad room's my normal job, but uh, a, for fun I do other things. Uh, this is a, an offcut of the, the kitchen worktop. Right, so that's it there. Yeah, these holes are all punched, I'm fine with that. Now if I turn it that way, you see that this is going at this angle, this is going at this angle. I'm gonna get my two dots, and the two dots, as I'm sure you already know, are to stop the leather from tearing. I'm going to uh, get my knife, cut along here. I should really do it on a cutting board, shouldn't I? Teaching you all bad habits here. I don't think you get any simpler than this wallet. I'm sure somebody will correct me and tell me, yeah, there's easier ones. That's that one. Just to show you my little cuts, a cut here and a cut here. Uh, where's my my Saddler's credit card? That's going to go in there and down there. And you're getting the idea of it, it won't fall out through the bottom here. So I'm going to just go ahead and cut these two holes here. Well, normally at this point in the video, I'm telling you how wonderful Mercedes cars are and hope that one day they'll eventually listen and send me a free sample. So far they haven't done it, I'll let you know. Um, but as I'm filled with the cold, Johnny Walker Black Label. So, if Johnny Walker Black Label is watching, very nice drink and I'm loaded with a cold and it make a wonderful, wonderful hot toddy. A hot toddy in Scotland is different from a hot toddy in America, I'm told. Uh, what a hot toddy is in Scotland is, you put uh, whiskey into a cup, as much as you think you need, put about three or four, five teaspoonfuls of sugar, uh, and then uh, an equal amount, maybe a slightly bit more water, throw it into a pan, bring to the boil, but uh, don't let it boil, just as soon as it starts to boil, enough to dissolve the sugar, Pour it into a cup, drink it, go to bed, sweat, wake up in the morning, you'll feel great. Okay, there's my other credit card. See, I'm a posh saddler, I've got two paper credit cards. So I think you can see where this is going. The problem is that you can see it's in here, so I'm going to show you what I'm going to do on that. Because if I, if I put my money in here, it's going to catch this piece of paper in here. So we have a simple, simple solution for that. It's called a big red cloth. Uh, this is a piece of cotton, you can use uh, silk or something here. Yeah? Um, so I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. Hang on, let me tidy off here a wee bit. Throw that to the side. Throw that to the side, get my glue board up. It's my board. Right, so now I've got my really snotty glue here. Uh, this glue's off, you know, but I'm still going to use it because I'm mean. I'm tight. Right. You can see here where my, my plastic backed paper, uh, paper credit card is. Uh, all of this stuff that's not touching the card, all of this can be glued if you want. Yeah. Um, again, you can just do the edges if that's all you want to do. So I'm just going to put a wee dot on here. Hopefully. Yeah. Look how bad this glue is. Yeah. If it any brains, I'd go over and get some uh, fresh stuff. But as I say, I'm tight. So a tiny bit of glue. Can you see that there? Yeah. Tiny bit of glue there, tiny bit of glue there, down the edges. Down the edges. Yeah, this glue is really horrible, you know. I don't recommend you do this with your finger, incidentally. It's the expression, do as I say, not as I do. No, is it the other way around?
Okay, glue the other side. Let me get that down there. There's a wee pause in the video there. As I was filming, somebody decided to pop in and ask me a question. <laughs> so, I'm going to get my brain back into it. I forgot what I was doing. Oh yeah, making a wallet. That's what it was. Don't know why I'm making a wallet. I've no money to put in it. I keep buying leather. The problem with leather is it costs money. There we go. That's that done. Get my finger over there. Right. Let's get rid of my glue. Throw that to the side. I spin my boat right to the other side now. Yeah, you're getting a commentary of everything I do. This is cool. Right. Uh, my little red cloth here, this is my uh, lining. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get this here and I stick it right on there. And as I do it, I'm going to say voila, because I've seen them do that in program, programs on the television. Same for this one here, I'm going to drop that one there. That should do it. Get my cutting board in. Actually, I could machine it and trim it later. Nah, do it now. Do it now. Where are we? Hopefully it sticks. I may not stick because I was chatting for a while there. Take that down now. This is the wrong surface to cut on, of course. The boards, the, the green thing I cut on is right next to me. But as I say, far, 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 far too lazy to go and just grab it. That's that. Watching somebody cutting must be like watching paint dry. Does that? Right, that's the card there, and on the other side it says bright red. Uh, do the same on this one, just trim that down there. Then I'm going to show you something, and then I'm going to go off camera and do a bit of machining. Uh, you can hand stitch if you like. Um, plenty of videos out there showing you how to hand stitch. Just remember my video, the one that shows you the bit, yeah, the way to pull your hands uh, to get a nice uh, diagonal slip if you like. Yeah, it's out there somewhere. Okay, I've got these two here. Let me just drag my wallet base in just to kind of show you how this is going to look. This is going to go on here. Um, that bit in. That's going to go in there. Is that right? Yep. Either or, actually, I suppose it's that way I did it, wasn't it? Yeah. So it's going to go that way. So this is the inside of the wallet. These bits here. I'm going to run a little machine stitch down here. I'm not worried about these red bits sticking off. I'll show you why when I get to it. So I'm going to go away now. I'm just going to machine stitch down here. Just to give it a bit of strength. That's really why I'm, I'm doing it. Also, it holds this backing on as well, I suppose. So uh, back in two seconds, guys. All right, the magic of camera. I'm back again. Let me do a quick zoom in. There you go. Uh, right, where's this go? That goes there roughly like that. That way round, that way round. And you see what I've done is I've machine stitched down here. Uh, this gives it a bit of strength, but at the same time it holds this. Uh, the other thing is you'll see, you can see all these red edges. I don't want to see uh, the red edges. So I'm just going to turn it around this way. Get my knife in here. Uh, hopefully this knife's sharp enough. And just cut it enough um, to cut that cloth there. It says hopefully. Trim it off.
There you are, no red edges. So I'm going to do the same down all the way around on the thing. This one up here. All right, and peel these off. That's one, two, and that gets rid of. Now you won't see the the red edges right now. All right, I'm going to pause the camera. You don't need to watch me doing this side, so I'll do this, uh, and then I'll come back. Okay, back again guys. As you see here, I've trimmed all these edges so you won't see the redness on it. Uh, and what we've done is we've put this on, and with this, it's made a little pocket for the credit card here. Yeah, so if I just whip that out, uh, and you can see it's in here. So now when you put your £100 notes in here, uh, it won't interfere with the card. In Scotland, we still have £100 notes. In England, I think it's up to a maximum of 50 So. Little piece of trivia for you. Right, this is going to sit on here like this. So what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, glue the edges, then we're just going to machine round the entire thing. Uh, then a bit of trimming and we'll tidy off at that. So let me get my glue. Remember, it's this horrible glue. Yuck. Now do I need to zoom out for this. I think this cold's affecting my hearing as well. Well, at least that's the excuse I use the wife when she shouts on me. Right. Hey, cold can't be that bad. I've still got bad jokes. Uh, I'm just tipping the, the edges here. It's the machining that's going to do it, uh, do the holding. So this is just enough to, to catch it while I machine stitch it. That's it. Get off it. Quick clean of the edges. Bring my glue back the way. That's it. Now, I'll normally machine the other one, but let me just stick this on here for you. That goes onto that corner up there. Up to there. Make sure the thing's all nice and level. Perfecto. Right, same for this one. That's a nice simple little thing. I was just thinking, I was doing, I was doing a, a bit of saddle work earlier on now. Uh, and as typical as, as, as you know, I don't think of videos, I just kind of turn the camera on and shoot. Uh, and I've never ever made this before and it was just something I thought, oh, this will be, seems easy, so might as well have a wee go at it. And so far, I'm quite liking it. Other than the big giant splodge of glue I've just got here. There you go. Let me dump that. Dump this out of the way. Clean the glue off my hands. Is that glue in there? Oh, I get glue everywhere. Yeah, don't use glue when it's horrible like that. All right, so this one here is now going to go on and line up uh, with these corners over here. Hopefully, it goes on nice and level. Should give me the same gap down the middle here. Right, that does it. A bit big there. That's good, we can trim that off. That's fine. All right. I'm going to go, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to machine round the entire thing. Uh, let me take my valuable paper credit card out. Back in a second again, guys. Okay, guys, back again. Uh, what I've done, can I zoom in on that? Wee, there you go. Uh, as you can see, I've machined round the entire thing. Yeah. Uh, that's not me finished yet. Let me clear off this board a tiny bit, which I should have done before I turned the camera on. But... That would have been far, far too easy to do. Right, cutting board. Right, because it's rough, uh, it's raw edges, etc. Um, and, uh, and I've done my machining in just a tiny bit. And I'm just going to zoom out just so you can see. 
I don't think I need to tidy it, but I'm gonna. I've got a wee edge poking out. Here just uh, let's see if I can zoom in on that wee. This little raw edge and stuff. I'm gonna get rid of that. Yeah. And back out again. You'll be dizzy by the time this thing's finished. So I'm just going to put that on there. I don't want a lot off. I just want the tiniest, tiny, 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 tiny bit off. Right, hold that, and I'll zoom in again. And you'll see how little I'm taking off. I'm just squaring the edges. I'll save you sandpaper in it as well. Yeah, you see these little bits I've just cut off there, and it gives me a much much cleaner edge. And I'll just do the exact same for this one. And we on camera. Yep. Is that square about there? Get rid of these bits down the long side. Yeah, I'm glad I'm doing this because this side isn't even. There she goes. That's that one. And the last one, and there's still a bit more I could trim off that if I wanted. But this gives me, this will give me nice square edges. There you go. I got a saddle making course in a couple of weeks. Quite looking forward to it. Right, I might even make a saddle myself, it's been a while. Okay, that's your wallet guys. Uh, let me get my real genuine uh, paper credit card just to show you how it goes. Uh, driving license is about the same size as well. Yeah, um, it goes in a lot easier if it's plastic. Of course, this is just a piece of paper, but that goes in there. There's your other one in there, and the, uh, and the other thing is, bear in mind we put this little pocket in, um, so you can see my my wonderful red lining wherever it may be. Yeah, so that's my card. Let's get some money out of the pocket. This is my old wallet. It, incidentally, they come with these uh, clips. You can put one of this. It's just an extra extension down here. I gotta say, I normally just do that and I could just throw it in my pocket. I very, I never ever stand and do this. I've no time for it. Yeah. Right, uh, money. What have we got? A load of paper. Twenties. Hey, rich saddler here. Look at this. Tens uh, and some fivers. So that can go in there. My tenors, my five, I can go in there as well. Uh, do us a favour, guys, don't let the wife know I've got this money, but I'm sure she'll find it when I'm sleeping anyway, so it don't matter. Uh, that can go in there. Let's get rid of my old wallet out of the way. Yeah, it fits quite nicely. New wallets are always a pain. So that's it there, wallet. In the pocket, and it's it's quite a handy wee thin size. This, yeah. Uh, as I say, simple little wallet for you to do. Um, hopefully, some guys, uh, some of you have some fun out of it. Uh, okay, guys, I'm going to go and do something else. I haven't a clue what, but uh, I'm going to go and do something else. Have a good day. Cheers, guys.